My name is Robin Hood. Um, I'm with the Mobile Alabama Police Department today. I've been with them for 15 years, um, just doing my routine patrol, make sure everybody's obeying the law, and make sure everybody's safe. Go ahead. Run for disturbance at the burger shot on Owl Creek Ave, cross of Sacramento. We have reports from the caller that the customer is being aggressive with the manager. Respond code 2. 10 4, responding code 2. And 4, control 202. Go ahead. Respond for assistance at the burger shot on Owl Creek Ave, cross of Sacramento. To assist 212. Code 2. Control 212 202, be advised. Caller says that the manager is on the ground and the combatant is beating him. Respond code 3. 10 4. 10 4. 211 to dispatch. 211. I've arrived on scene. I'm going to confront the suspect. And four. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Sir, oh, in the brown jacket, Get I need me. you to put your hands up. Oh my god. I don't want to. Stand still and put your uh, hands sir, up. Sir, help Against me, the counter. Oh, thank god you're here. Stand up against the counter for me, I sir. I don't, I don't want to. I, I can't. I can't even walk. I can't. Sir, okay, I'm going to help you up. All right? Uh, One, uh, two, three. All right, all right let's stand uh, up. Okay, I'm up. Up. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, can I have you face the counter? Stand still. Uh, uh, I'm trying. Give me a sec. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Right, how's it going today? Doing good. Uh, two oh one to dispatch. Two oh one. Show me ten twenty three. Ten four. Okay, sir. Um, can I have you face the counter for me? Okay, give me a sec. It's gonna be a little turn. Okay. Uh, 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 You're the manager again, right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help you all out, alright? Right? Yes, there you go. sir. Here we go. Alright. I want you to place your hands on top of your head. You're okay. being detained, not arrested, just for, for your safety. For, for, for uh, okay, okay, okay. My hands on top Get of him, head. sir. Okay. Hey, you shut Thank up. You. Sir? Hey. Just, you just didn't give me no ice. Just stay right I didn't do nothing. Alright, all right. at, at, at this time, time I'm just going to search you. you. Do you have, have anything that will poke me, me, stick me, any rocket, machine guns, or grenades? I got a number two pencil in my pocket. Okay, can you go, uh, uh, what, what pocket is that in? Uh, it's my right back pocket. Okay, keep your hands on top of your head. I'm gonna reach uh, it. no problem. Okay. You, you look pretty. Thank you, sir. Um, alright, place the pencil on the counter. Um, alright, sir, go, uh, sir, sir. Are you okay? So back down. Yeah, yeah. I'm alright. All right. Alright, all right. right. I'm, I'm gonna have to stand up. Three, two, one. Let's help him stand up. Can you roll a 1052 to a burger shot, please? Okay, okay. Alright, sir. Unfortunately. Right now I'm detaining you, putting you in handcuffs. Roll medic 45. Medic 45, oh, go ahead, dispatch. One, two, burger shot, Owl Creek Ave, cross of Sacramento. Go three. I, I just want to know if get I want to get my ice. I just want my ice. Sure. Right, just, right. I think he has a knife in his pocket. You, okay, okay now thank you. Right now. Uh, 212, can you go ahead and um, uh, read him his rights? I'll, I'll talk to the manager. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take him in the car. I don't want to follow you. Come on. Hi, right, manager. Uh, well, you should. I don't want to. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, can okay. you explain to me what happened from start to finish? Um... Well, I, honestly, I don't know where it started. It all happened too fast. I, I don't know. Um, okay. I was, I was just by the end of my shift, and um, he came in, he um, ordered a sandwich. Um, oh my god, I'm so scared right now. Thank god. It's okay. Calm, calm down. Do you, do you need to sit down, or...? 
Are you okay? Nah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um. So I was um getting his order ready, and um I got I got it ready in like no time, and then he was rushing me all the time to to get it done and everything. It, it didn't take no time, honestly. And then um I gave him the order, and then he went out, and just a minute later. He comes back like yelling at me like there is bacon bacon there and I told him there's no bacon there and he just wouldn't take it. I, I don't know like I, I even looked at the sandwich again and there was no bacon. I told oh, him sir there's no bacon there and he just I don't know I, I think that he's on he's on something I, I don't know. Okay I understand. Um, Are you hurt anywhere? Did he grab you or physically assault you in any way in fact yeah yeah um I, I don't know if you can see this but um my nose is slightly bleeding and there is actually blood on my shirt but yeah i must see you have a broken nose uh 211 to dispatch 211 do we have ems on scene uh 1010 at this time they are in out M4. uh please advise me when they arrive Ten four. All right, uh, two twelve. Um, can I have you look around the corner, uh, the counter for evidence, uh, any weapons or an anything that might have been used to uh, strike this uh, young gentleman, the manager of Burger Shot. Oh, also, I'd like to add something. Um, I thought I saw a knife on him, but I'm not sure if he had hidden it or something, but. You guys just watch out. I think he, he's on something. For sure. Yes, sir. Um, I'm having one of my officers go ahead and uh, search the counter and surrounding areas uh, just to make sure um, that if we do find the knife, uh, we'll, we'll um, hold it in an evidence bag and uh, charge that against him for uh, domestic violence. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Two okay. okay. dispatch. 211. Can you show that EMS is on scene? And 4. Uh, um, um, EMS? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Doing pretty good. Um, I have this uh, manager here. He does seem to have some blood coming from a nose. I don't know if it's broken or not. Um, there is some blood on his left collar. Um, his his knuckles seem to be bruised. Um, I was wondering if you could do a full assessment on him. All right, we'll go ahead and take a look at him. Uh, excuse me, sir. If you'll follow me back to the amulets, we'll check you out there. All right, all right. Two twelve to two o two. Go ahead. Uh, did you see anything on the counter or the surrounding area, like sort of like a sharp object used to uh, uh, strike the um, manager? Because he did say that uh, the suspect did have a knife on him. No, it was probably just that pencil. You can see if the lead is still in the pencil or if the lead probably cracked out, then we know he striked him with it. All right, I've placed that it's on the counter. Blood on it. Hold on. Yeah. We do seem to have blood on this pencil that I removed from his right pocket. I'm going to go ahead and place it in a bag for evidence, and uh, we'll go ahead and put that on him for a second charge of domestic violence. Two twelve to dispatch. Two twelve. Um, right now, EMS is checking out the manager. I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk to the suspect and ask him why he uh, did what he did. In for. Hello, sir. My, officer, um, my name is Officer Robin. I'm with the Mobile Alabama Police Department. A um, few questions for you. Uh, question number one. Uh, why did you come up to Burger Shot today? Well, you you see, I was down the street. There's a bar, 
and I got hungry for a bacon cheeseburger. So I walked, well, <laughs> tried to walk <laughs> down here to order a cheeseburger. And that's why it was at this burger shop. I understand that. Um, my second question is, um, <clears throat> why, do you, why do you seem to have a pencil that was on you at the time? That answer, I, I, I don't even know why I have a pencil. I, 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 no, I don't, I, I don't even know. Okay. Um. I have a pen. I had a pencil on me. Yes, sir. Oh. Um. While I was confront or talking to you at the front counter, uh, within Burger Shot, uh, you said you had a pencil in your right front pocket. I retrieved it, and it did seem to have blood on it. Um. <clears throat> do you recall, uh, striking? The manager in any way I have no recollection of that incident ever happen happening no no nothing yes, I sir. I'm a good boy I understand that um, at this time I'm gonna have uh, one of my officers here conduct a field sobriety test on you uh, so if you can go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me uh, okay Two oh one, can I go ahead and have you uh, conduct a field sobriety test on this uh, young gentleman here? Uh, ten four. Hi, how's how's it going? Going pretty good, sir. <coughs> Hi, EMS. Hey. Uh, what what seems to be the uh, problem? Did he did he have a broken nose? Uh, in fact, he did have a broken nose. We've been able to pretty much uh, get some stuff on it, and been able to stop the bleeding. Uh, we actually recommend that we go ahead and take him to the hospital, uh, just get some um, additional takes, looks, and probably some X-rays to make sure everything's going to be fine. But otherwise, no other uh, damages to be seen. We've seen uh, a small abrasion above his head. But other from that, uh, it just looks like some scar tissue. Okay, so we'll yeah, take a look at that. I see it too. Um, I did retrieve a pencil. It did have blood on it. So, did you see any puncture wounds or scrape marks that look like an object was jabbed into them? Uh, not as of current. Uh, we didn't. I didn't see anything. But when we take him back to the hospital, we'll go ahead and. Um, take a full examination of them and make sure there's nothing there okay um, uh, manager can I, uh, do you have, would you like to press charges against this uh, man yes I would um, thank you officer okay uh, EMS uh, at this time can can you go ahead and take him to the hospital uh, do a full body scan make make sure he's all right for me no problem. We'll take care of him. Uh, sir, thank you. Uh, no problem. Sir, if you step back oh, in sir, the... Uh, uh, can sir. I say something, officer? Yeah, go ahead. I would just like to um, thank you and all um, your um, partners here that um, saved my life because this night could have turned out like, hey. much worse. Where's so, my bacon? Oh my I understand. God. Um, our, our job in the police department is to respond quickly make sure everything's okay and also protects people's lives that are in harm's way. I want my bacon. Thank you, sir. Thank you very so, much. At, at this time, can I go ahead and uh, have you go with this um, paramedic to the hospital to do a further check on you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm sorry that this happened to you today. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, fill out the paperwork and uh, we'll go ahead and get the suspect uh, processed. Next time you remember right. my bacon. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no problem. Now, sir, if I can, can I get you to blow in the tube here? A hard <laughs> if you can, please. Uh, uh, give me, let me just turn around. Give me a sec. Uh, all right, okay. Medic 48 to dispatch. Medic 48. Uh, show me rolling code three en route to the station with one patient, uh, has certain injuries to the nose and abrasion to the head. And four. Uh, thank you, sir. No problem. My Can I get you to follow me and get in the 
back in the vehicle, please? Uh, 201. Go ahead. Um, what was his results? His uh, alcohol level 1.3. Nah. Okay, yeah, he's, he's way over the limit. So, um, I, I'll go ahead and read him his rights. And, uh, we'll, we'll get him booked for uh, domestic violence and assault with a deadly weapon. And for, uh, can you fill me in what was going on in here when you arrived yeah um i was a little bit down the street uh dispatch um called me in sent me to location to burger shot for a fight in progress while i was responding um dispatch advised me to go ahead and step up my response code code three when i arrived on scene the manager was in front the in front of the counter the suspect was um swinging at him it looked like he had an object in his right hand at the time. So I approached the suspect with my guns drawn, uh, had the suspect uh, face the counter. Um, I had him put his hands on his head and uh, I retrieved a pencil out of his right front pocket. It looked like it had blood on it, so I placed it on the counter. Um, and when I was talking to the manager, he did say, that he saw a weapon or something that would you use to strike him in a way that the suspect had in his hands and when it um, looked at the pencil that it placed on the counter it did have significant significant amount of blood on it so I go ahead I went ahead and put placed it in an evidence bag um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, book him with um, domestic violence, assault with a deadly weapon, and disorderly conduct in a public place.